Good morning, everyone, and wow, welcome to WordCamp Kathmandu 2023. And I am here to uh, share my experience on decoding the process of content ideation for SU Success. Uh, let's start with an uh, amazing fact. Uh, only 0.3% of website reach Google first page uh, within the e publishing content in a year, right? So uh, basically, what we can understand here, uh, for better SEO success or better ranking, we have to create a proper plan, right? So talking about myself, uh, I have completed my bachelor in physics from 3-1 University, and I have been working in this field for more than five years. And uh, I have, uh, till now, I have worked on more than uh, 80 websites. So let's uh, discuss what we, uh, we will uh, discussing in this session. First of all, we will discuss uh, the significance of content in SEO success. After that, uh, how, why we should create our content plan for SEO. And after that, we will understanding uh, the topical authority. And after that, uh, we will deep dive in how to build topical authority and what are the best practices. And uh, after that, we will create a topical map. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, what are the significance of creating content for our website. So uh, content is a way to communicate with users, right? If we have to communicate uh, uh, with users or customers, then we have to write content for that. So uh, in order to provide value or user engagement, content play a very vital role. Uh, for our websites and uh, proper content and uh, well depth content uh, also help to boost our EEAT score right and uh, another factor it's also increase our dwell time because uh, EEAT factor and dwell time uh, positively impact our SEO and uh, uh, it's uh, boost our overall ranking of the web pages and uh, after that uh, it's also increased overall source visibility throughout every source engine platform, right? And uh, another huge factor that uh, Google recently focusing on topical authority. To build topical authority, contents play a very significant role. Okay. So uh, now let's discuss why should we create content plan for SEO, right? Uh, one thing we all know, uh, backlink is a huge factor for SEO, right? To gain uh, backlink naturally, we have to uh, plan content, right? And uh, another factor is to fill success gap, right? Success gap is something like user is demanding and uh, you are not fulfilling that, right? And uh, uh, if, you, if your competitor are using and you are not going through that process, then uh, you have to create proper plan, right? And uh, lastly, to increase topical authority, right? Let's uh, understand what topical authority is, right? So uh, topical authority is something that you are expert on that area. For example, uh, if you are creating WordPress, then you have to cover all those things around the WordPress, right? So uh, this basically means topical authority on that uh, particular niche, right? So if you uh, want to build topical authority in any niches, then you have to uh, write content around those fields, right? And uh, how we can achieve that? So to achieve that, uh, we have to work on depth of this content. And uh, we have to maintain consistency, right? So in order to build topical authority, we have to create a topical map, right? So this is how a topical map look like. We have to define an entity, right? Or maybe you can say a root keyword. At first, we have to define root keyword. Let's say uh, in this example, T-shirt, right? So uh, we are now covering all those topics around this main entity T-shirt. For example, main T-shirt, kids T-shirt, woman T-shirt might be, uh, we can uh, uh, create uh, by uh, brands, for example, Nike T-shirts, right? And uh, maybe uh, we can use uh, manual guides how to uh, buy a t-shirt or what are the things that we should care. So basically what I'm trying to say is we have to cover 
all those things around the main entity resort. And here is one of, of example, right? So now, uh, how to create topical map? This is the biggest question, right? Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, first of all, uh, we will use SEO tools like Ahrefs, Samrus, right? And uh, oh, first of all, we have to define root keywords that uh, niche you are working in, right? And uh, we have to put those keywords on SEO tool like Samrus and Ahrefs, right? And we have to click on broad, broad maths, and after that we will get result around this topic, and we have to select carefully uh, within this topic, right? And uh, uh, after reviewing carefully uh, what topic may be aligned with the main center topic, then we will list down from SEO tool. Okay. So uh, what another method that we can use to uh, list out the topic? Analyzing our competitor. We analyze our competitor that uh, ranks almost every uh, niche's keyword. For example, if you are searching WordPress theme, then uh, most of the competitor are ranking uh, consistently around all the topics uh, along WordPress, right? So we have to analyze those competitors, not uh, who is uh, ranking for one, one keywords or occasionally ranking, right? So we have to analyze those competitors who are consistently ranking around those fields. and. Uh, Again, we will go through uh, SEO tools, for example, SEMrush, and we will uh, put their links on uh, SEMrush tool. And uh, again, we will analyze their keywords, what keywords they are ranking, right? And uh, again, we will uh, filter it by broad mass and filter it by root keywords. We can use root keywords to filter it out. And uh, uh, from this, we can also list out the topic uh, for our main entities and uh, no, last one last but not the least we can use AI tool our uh, previous speaker already told about uh, the significance of using AI we can use every field we can use in every field uh, like chat uh, 4 is helpful for creating uh, topic creating content everything so basically what matters here is what prompt you are giving right so uh, to provide a better prompt, we have to assign a role to the uh, chat GPT or maybe any AI tool. For example, uh, we can say act as a SEO specialist, act as a SEO analyst, or maybe act as a content strategist. First part will be assigning the role to the AI, right? And uh, the second part will be what what result that we are expecting. For example, create me uh, a topical authority around this root keyword or root entities. This. Right, and uh, the third part will be what we are not expecting to get. Like, don't uh, don't give this one, this one. What we are not expecting, right? So, uh, in three part, we will assign a prompt, right? And uh, after giving this prompt, the AI will uh, provide us result like that, right? We have got a topical cluster around the main topic WordPress, right? And this way, we can uh, collect the topics around the main topic WordPress. So uh, these are the major three way to uh, create topical cluster or we can say topical map, right? Uh, we can also use social media uh, to uh, resource topical cluster. For example, if you are creating something, then uh, go on Pinterest and sort so what other queries, other questions uh, users are asking related to that. For example, WordPress, then definitely uh, there might be a problem how to fix WordPress plugin, how to uh, use WordPress theme, right? So there might be it uh, in other things also. That what I am trying to say, we can use social media platform like Pinterest, Quora, question answer platform in order to get other topics related to your main root keywords. Okay. So uh, after all these things, after all these method, we are come up with result like this. We have a pillar page or pillar content. Uh, for instance, we can assume WordPress website development, right? And uh, we also get the subtopic around the pillar page, right? For example, choosing the right WordPress elements, uh, WordPress uh, theme, and all, right? So uh, what we have right now, we have the main entities and their subtopic. 
and writing on these topics will uh, create our topical authority in this niche and we will dominate in this area right and uh, what another benefit from uh, these clusters will be internal linking right external linking is a cherry on the cake we all know but inter uh, extra sorry external linking is sorry on the cake but internal linking is the foundation of your seo right if we do proper internal linking then it uh, really boosts our overall website performance right so creating pillar page and uh, sub topic like this or we can say topical cluster like this uh, help to link internally right and uh, in this way we can uh, boost our overall site performance and gain topical authority around this topic okay thank you that's all from my side and you can find me on facebook twitter and we can you can find me on linkedin as well